Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading for the next 24 hours. This is for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy this video, uh, link in the description box below to get a personal reading with me. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see the past. I don't pull reversals in these. Past, energy. Oh, same as yesterday, the, the uh, hangman. <laughs> and the emperor is here again, of course. Okay. Okay, nine of swords. So the hangman, the emperor, and the nine of swords. Okay. Present energy, the six of wands, the sun, and the nine of wands. And the future, king of pentacles, the eight of swords, and... The Ace of Swords. All right, let's take a look and see what the past messages are here for love. All right, Virgo. So we have Pisces, Aries. Somebody could be on the cusp, Pisces, Aries. We have Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, let's take a look. Past love messages. Okay, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others and true love. Virgo, um, this person that you uh, had in your past felt as if they you were their true love. Definitely. You brought something to them in the past that enlightened their way of thinking. Um, I see somebody here who's having uh, a lot of stress and anxiety in regards to a father figure. Okay. So let's get some clarity here with this hanged man because it feels to me like this person has some kind of like awakening in their mind and their views in the past. Okay. All right. The Eight of Swords. Um, and that's here twice. This this person really struggled. They had this self-imposed prisoner kind of thing. Their thoughts kept them trapped. And I feel like they woke up to something. It might have something to do with either being a father or with a father figure. Okay. Or they are, uh, yeah, or they're currently a father. Okay. But this, let me take a look at this emperor because he shows up. Virgo, if you've been following my channel here, you guys know he shows up in one way or another every time I do a reading. So some of you Virgos have got this Aries in your life, whether it's a planet placement or this person's sun, moon, rising, or Venus, this, Air, this Aries emperor shows up all the time. <sighs> the hangman is here again. Some enlightenment. This person had a very abusive father. I will say that, or some issue with a father. Caused a lot of stress and anxiety, and I feel like past position here, they're coming to see, they're coming to terms with something here. Some things that their father, now this for some of you, some, this is like based on like childhood trauma is what I feel. This person has major anxiety and stress big time nightmares grief depression total breakdown <clears throat> it just feels like for some of you they're they're like waking up to the way a way the way a a either a father made them feel like they couldn't speak or they couldn't communicate or <clears throat> um, put restrictions on them, isolated them. Like there's some type of like mental prison. And I feel like, I don't know if you had some type of an effect on them that helped them see that they took their childhood traumas or whatever it might've been into their adult life, okay? Now, for others, if that's not the case, there is this person 
had issue with thinking that they could be, you know, like the emperor, someone who's a leader, uh, a father figure, issue with being a father. They woke up to the fact that they want to be a father. They want to be a better father. They want to be someone who stands in more of an alpha role or more confident. Let's take a look at this nine of swords here. The magician, yeah, they anxiety and stress about how to do that. This person really just trapped, couldn't speak. Um, but, you know, it's like whatever whatever might have happened to them in their childhood, you know, those tapes and those messages and what, what they were told, they took that into their adult life. But now they're adults, so now they have a choice. When you're an adult, you have the choice. Like once you, once you are enlightened, like the hanged man, and you see that, then you have a choice. You can stay in it. Or you can make changes, right? And this person, they had a, a great big fear of being able to manifest, um, turn their visions and their hopes and the things that they hoped for and wanted with you or just within themselves. Great fear of anxiety about being able to do that, okay? But they might have been very flirtatious with you, but this definitely was a true love connection with this person. Okay, so the present energy. So we've got the Six of Wands. That's a card of victory. We've got the Sun. That's a card of unconditional love, self-love, joy, positivity, happiness. That's a Leo energy. Um, hmm. Freedom. I'm just feeling like a strong sense of freedom. And that Nine of Wands. Persistence. Boundaries. Wow, let's take a look at the love messages here. Okay, children, your love life is being affected by children. Some of you, this person really wanted a child to be ch to have children. They're very strong magnetic attraction. Chemistry always makes me feel like like chemistry, biology. Um, there might have been like th this person might be if they wanted to have a child. There might be something here to do with. Um, birth control, chemicals, um, in vitro, that kind of thing as well, okay, wanting to have a child, like, and even with the son, there's a child here, I feel like this person is going to be currently trying to make that happen for themselves, they want to be victorious in that, now if they can't have children, um, there is just an element here of the chemistry between the two of you. I feel like this person feels that it, it can be very playful and fun, but they're a bit guarded, definitely. They're a bit guarded. Now let's take a look at this. What is this victory? Oh yeah, Ace of Cups. See, this person... <laughs> something changes within them and this initiation of love begins in the present again that ace of cups can be new baby um, or there's a birthing a new beginning a new birthing where that's victorious in this relationship okay a new lovely like my cup runneth over let's take a look at the sun okay yep justice making things right Okay, a win-win solution here between you and this person, between you and them. They want to make this thing right. They want to find a way to bring balance. They want to give the truth here and be free to speak to you, free to tell you the absolute truth, perhaps about some, some stuff in their past. Yeah, Queen of Swords here, okay? So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So... They want to open up to you. They're hesitant. They're very hesitant to reveal. This is my wounded soldier card. They're very hesitant to reveal their woundedness. They've kind of kept it hidden. Um, but I don't feel like they're able to do that anymore. And it feels to me like, you know, they know they can talk to you, but they're worried a little bit that you're going to be harsh with them if they open up that's where the hesitation comes from they have a little they have just like um a, this pullback energy about explaining or opening up and telling you or showing you their scars those deep 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 scars like they're coming to a head for this person 
they can't take that stress anymore that anxiety because it tr they they know that you are the true love of their life and they know that they found you they found true love with you but there's um that queen of swords kind of you know they're just hesitant that you're gonna have you're gonna be guarded or you're gonna be um uh, I don't the queen of swords upright is not mean she's just very factual this person needs very they need care and compassion and they're not they're not a hundred percent sure that they will be able to they, this person needs a big fat hug oh my goodness a big fat hug <laughs> they they need you to come in as the queen of cups more than the queen of swords I just want to get another card here for that okay yeah they do they definitely are inspired to talk to you and to communicate with you about this past stuff because I feel like you know I don't know if you guys are still together or if there's a split I don't know what's going on but this person is having that hanged man energy big time twice this person is like gaining wisdom here really getting a different perspective about how their things that whatever might have happened to them that, that story is not for everyone but something with a father um whatever might have happened with their father has had a huge influence on their actions as an adult um or just them being able to be a stand up above board kind of person maybe that's something you needed from them but they were just kind of like very pulled back felt very stuck and unable to do that all right let's take a look at this future so we have the king of pentacles the eight of swords and the ace of swords okay so separation time apart but very soon a decision will be made okay i feel like this person you guys there, there might be a bit of separation still going forward okay or coming forward but a decision will be made there is going to be definite victorious communication i feel like right now this is what this person wants presently is to open up and try to make things right and get into a positive place um but at this time in the present they're just holding back a little bit like they do want to have this new start with you but they're holding it feels like they're holding back because um like they want to tell you the complete and honest truth but they're holding back because I feel like if they shared their feelings in the past and they kind of got judged, you know, um, or like, like, for example, so like they tried to share their pains or their emotions or whatever was going on with them. And they kind of received a message from somebody that had an effect on them where it was more like, well, we'll get over it. Or they were denied to express their emotions or their deep feelings or they were said well you know or they were told you know keep your mouth shut don't express your emotions don't talk you know because then you'll look weak you know that kind of stuff so that, that it's very difficult for them to open up and express they want to be this tough person and they don't want to seem weak but they don't understand that when you open up and express your deepest emotions and fears and feelings, the vulnerability in that takes great strength. And people who, you know, stand there with those blocks and guards, like I'm untouchable and I'm, I'm unavailable and nobody can hurt me are actually weak, right? It takes enormous strength to take that risk and be vulnerable and open up. So they struggle with that. So the present energy is the King of Pentacles here, okay? I feel like you and your person, Virgo, I feel like you have a little bit of that as well. Um, and you know what? It's not just two Virgos. It's not to any particular sign all the time. It, it's just a human thing. And so I feel like you and this person may have a tendency sometimes, like if this person doesn't open up, maybe you clam up. Or maybe because you clam up, this person doesn't open up. There, There's an element here of like, I do feel like they're going to be this energy. This is not an overnight fix. And I feel like um, there is going to be a decision soon to, to actually make it happen. Okay. You might communicate with this person going forward and tell them, listen, you understand their struggle. 
sometimes this can have like a mental effect. You understand their struggle and you're willing to open up and talk and try to overcome uh, any conflicts. Um, they will as well. Okay. Find a way to like, there's mental clarity to overcome these conflicts. Let's take a look at the King of Pentacles is someone who invests, but also, hey, guess what? There was emotional unavailability here. There was a there was indifference. This person has a ten, like they'll open up, but then, you know, are they going to share the love? Well, there's no cup energy here. The only cup energy is the Four of Cups, so it's kind of like a little bit of withdrawal. Okay, um, I feel like the communication will come through from them that this is what they were dealing with. It's it's you know they do want that new love start with you they do want to have that <clears throat> but it's this is very slow and i feel like there will they will tell you <clears throat> that they you know gosh it almost feels like hid behind their finances or money you know that kind of thing it was like safe i feel like a little bit of that was yesterday's reading as well yep <laughs> Okay. Yep. They they couldn't share how they felt, and so they were always seeking a new um, financial opportunities in their life. Are they just always seeking, like looking for a new job or like trying to get promotion was more important than expressing that might have been something they were told in the past, like work first, love later, right? That might have been something that they dealt with, right? And they're always seeking new income or new ways, new opportunities to make them feel better. And I feel like that's the community communication and that perhaps um you know they may communicate and tell you the reason why the separation was there why they kept their distance with that four of cups with you um because they had this thing that they had to live up to and it wasn't something that they tr it wasn't who they were like it just seemed to be pressed upon them in the past a lot okay three of cups yeah they want a reunion with you and there's good cup energy so going from the four to the three, back down to supportive energy, okay? They want your support. They want your emotional support, and they will communicate that to you. They need your emotional support. If they are able, if they're going to open up to you and tell you what's going on, like they need to feel that you come as a friend. They need to feel like that's what they seek. They may also tell you that they were seeking that in other women, if it's a male you're dealing with. Okay, um, and while you were in separation, that's what they were doing, seeking females, female friends, or um, even if you're a male listening and you're a person, like whomever, I'm, I'm not trying to get into, um, you know, the, the, it's just energy here. So seeking others for support. And I feel like a decision gets made here. Yep, wheel of change, uh, the wheel of the year. So major change happens a turning point will happen going forward with this person let's take a look at this separation why is this time apart here going forward okay yeah thinking about things taking time to step back and contemplate what is the best path okay and so i feel like your person is going to take a little step back before they come forward in the future to express to you something that they had to deal with something that you know was just kind of like the undercurrent of their life let's take a look here and see what the love messages are from your person okay new love a new love or recommitment to love is developing so that, that that's coming back around an awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation absolutely and i feel like this past energy um from the time you're listening to this reading right now and going back. So however far, however near. Okay. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. That's the three of cups. Okay. You're in the inner circle, Virgo. You are part of that inner circle. And this person, in order to heal, needs your support. In order to feel like they can open up, they need your support. And they don't need your logic. They don't need you to fix it. They don't need you to tell them, you know, what to do, where to go, how to be. They just need your loving support. That's all. And your understanding and your compassion, your healing and your nurturing. As someone in this 
connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Yeah, this person has um, like obsessive thought. Are they about you? They could be, but I feel like they get like they're compelled. You know, when those tapes run over and over and over, they become default and they become obsessive. Okay, but the relationship will be moving towards sacred union and marriage. This person, there you go. I couldn't let you get close to me. And I feel like you got closer than anyone, Virgo, and you probably were pushed away the most because of that. I remember every detail of that day. Protected, you are safe and divinely guided. This person wants you, Virgo. They do. You speak to me through music. There might be some type of, I don't know how, <laughs> somebody sings or somebody puts music out there or does something with music or they... They, they hear songs that remind them of you or the lyrics. They might be getting their healing through music as well. An addiction. This person is addicted to these this structured, obsessive uh, way of thinking. And I feel like this is a struggle. Uh, might Maybe addicted to um, work for some. I feel like that was in yesterday's reading as well. Okay. So Virgo, that's your reading. Very interesting. A little bit different than yesterday but i hope that that helps you in some way and if you want to get a personal reading link is in the description box below please do hit like share and subscribe i greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys very soon take care